That was 72 rounds. Hey YouTube, Soda K Man here, and I am very excited to have the new Boomco Colossal Blitz. This was also known as the Dart Explosion in the past with the leaked images, and it comes with the whole blaster itself in 72 Boomco darts and two 36 round drums that go on one side and the other, which it looks kind of funny with both the drums in, I'll get to that later. This blaster just looks sick. It has actually a select fire function, whether you want to fire semi or full auto, which is just badass. And has rails all over the blaster and an angled foregrip down here. And another rail in the front. But the only downside I have to say, it's going to be a bit heavy and it will take 6C batteries. And did I mention it also costs $90? So let's see how good this blaster is for being $90. So I'll be right back and I'll have it out of the box. Okay, all the contents of the box, I put batteries in here, but now I have to put these drums in, and essentially the drum holders, and they're the 72 darts, so I'll have a link to Boba Lolo's video, he did a good job explaining how to put this together, so I'll have this all put together when I come back. And the darts in there. 72 darts. Okay, I'm back here with the big old, big old colossal blitz here, and it is definitely colossal as you can tell, it's, it's actually not as heavy as I'd think. I actually can hold it with one arm, but then again, I am 5'10", and I am reasonably strong, though, so it's not like it would be too hard for me to hold it, so attachments rails right here, 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 and here for Boomco attachments, and what I don't like is, is that if you're holding the blaster, you might accidentally hit the rev tr trigger a lot, and that kind of gets annoying, and also right down here, like, I just did that unintentionally. So it's semi at the closer in the far end, and over here it is fully automatic, which it has three darts shown on there. That means fully automatic. Okay, this is really getting to me. It's annoying. But this angled foregrip is really, really nice on here. It has a great feel, and the stock is basically useless on here. So I just recommend holding it by the angled foregrip and just the regular handle. So that's really how you should hold it really no other way is a carrying handle right here and I'll shut my mouth and I'll fire 72 rounds for you guys so it's in semi right now whoa what's going on oh there we go honestly it's not too bad of a fire rate that was actually a pretty dang solid fire rate. I'd say it's around like 4.3, 4.5, maybe a little more, but dang, that's actually pretty quick. With uh, six C batteries, that is honestly not too bad. In fact, that's actually pretty solid on here, but I still can't wait to put some trust fires in here and have a full review on this blaster, but also to remove these little drums in the side. You have to push in, move it down. push down these little yellow buttons on both sides and push up the drum it's a bit hard but getting it in is even harder and it takes a lot of time to refill these 36 round drums and i'll have a review probably three days after i post this maybe quicker but i do also have the boomco brake flip or yes if i'm correct that's its name i did also pick that up and i do have the flippo well it's not mine it's pure rc films but i will be reviewing his and the needler so this is a neat blaster, but it is super, super expensive. If it weren't for the price, I'd give this thing a 9 out of 10, maybe even higher. Like, I'll give it a 9.3 out of 10, because this fire, the rate of fire is actually pretty damn solid. It holds a lots and lots of darts, 72 darts. That beats any other Nerf gun on the market. So congratulations to Boomco for that. And it has semi and full auto fire as a selection. And it's not too heavy for what it is, so I would give it a good score. But since it does not have, well, I'll give it a 9.5 just off of what I just said. But since its price is 90, 90 buckaroos on this thing, 90 buckaroos, and that's a lot for this, this Nerf Blaster, so it is a 9 out of 10 for me. So, a nasty price, wouldn't recommend this unless it's on sale, just because it's so dang expensive. But then again, it's your choice to buy this blaster, it's pretty cool. And I'll, I'll have the review after this. Thank you guys for watching.